little bit. Cool. Well, thank you everybody for being here. So the subject of this presentation for me is Subaru. And the theme behind it is love. That's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. That's the company motto, and it's prevalent through everything that they've been doing over the course of the past hundred years. The company actually founded in 1918 in Japan, and let me talk a little bit about their love for Japan. In World War II, they actually started making planes for the Japanese, which personally, I may be a little bit against, but I'm biased. Um, <laughs> and then from there, they actually partnered with Nissan, a competitor, for 31 years, where Nissan and Subaru were encouraged by Japan's government to actually come together and try to excel the Subaru brand, the whole Japanese brands of cars, to America. After their partnership ended in 1999, they then went on to partner with Toyota to keep pushing more innovation and reliability. Now, as any good car company, they love driving. <laughs> and with driving, one of the big things that got them so much reputation throughout the 90s was their racing in rallycross. Subarus have an all-wheel drive system that allows them to move. Most vehicles will use a front-wheel drive or a rear-wheel drive, and all that means, as you can imagine, is it's either the front axle or the rear. But what makes all-wheel drive special is that all four of the tires can move when needed. Now they don't move all at the same time because that would be a four by four. Now with this though comes so much reliability, so many improvements in traction as well. And I'll touch on that a little bit later, but going back to racing, they also have the Mount Washington time record and they have been featured in two of the recent Gymkhana's. Uh, Gymkhana is kind of this cool racing around the city video that uh, they do to promote the company called Hoonigan. So with that, another interesting thing about the driving love is that there are Subaru meetups in tons of different cities and Subaru actually encourages it to the point where they have volunteers called Subaru ambassadors. These are individuals that just drive around with goodie bags full of Subaru merch and whenever they see a Subaru on the road, they try to stop the person, say, hey, how are you doing? Invite them to the group and hand them this bag of merch. My buddy's got caught by one. I have not, unfortunately, yet. I have been trying for a few years. And lastly, with driving as well, and with the love of Japan merging together, they actually partnered with Toyota to produce a BRZ, is how it's sold under Subaru. Under Toyota, it's sold as the GR86, and that is rear-wheel drive. And that is specifically just for the joy of driving. It's, they made it rear wheel drive instead of all wheel drive to try to get that sports car feel and also be able to offer a lower price. Because most sports cars are 40, 50, $60,000. A BRZ, whenever you get into that, it's a nice, easy, comfortable 30, 35,000. It's a car that the regular person can buy. So now moving on, pets. Subaru loves pets. It's prevalent throughout their commercial advertising. A lot of their recent commercials, especially, actually replace humans with dogs. And they're doing the same things that humans would be doing. Um, one good example is the dogs have a puppy in the back seat. The puppy can't fall asleep, so they start driving around the neighborhood until the puppy can fall asleep, which is just this nice relatability. It, it shows that what we love, dogs, pets, is something that can go with us wherever we want. It can be united by the Subaru. And to even double down on that, um, the local dealership, Subaru of Orange Park, is the one that I go to. They even have a little tiny, I think they call it like the dog town. And it's like this little uh, watering spot where you can, your dog can drink, uh, the little potty area as well. And they sell merchandise specifically for dogs. So when you're going down and you're selecting your vehicle and you're building it, brand new from the factory, you can actually put these scuff protectors on the door specifically just for dogs. And it's really interesting because it's like, here's your lighting options. Do you want to have underglow? You want to have, and then it's, do you want to have a car in it for a dog? And I think that's really nice. That's really unique. Moving on from that, and it actually ties in very nice, is the ASPCA. 
They donate to four different major charities. It's the ASPCA, it's Meals on Wheels, it's Make-A-Wish, and it's the National Park Foundation. They also do 800 different small charities as well that are local. Now, what it is, is Subaru has the Share the Love event, uh, and they do it for about three months out of the year. They've been doing it for 16 years and have donated $250 million. What it is, is whenever you buy a or lease a new Subaru, then they will give $250 to any of those four or 800 charities that I mentioned. And the nice thing is you actually get to choose it yourself which just kind of reinforces that love idea, that love of, hey, Subaru also loves what you love. They care about the environment. They care about the pets. They care about the Make-A-Wish children and the Meals on Wheels. Got a two for a beer. Safety and ingenuity. So the safety goes back to the all-wheel drive function that we talked about a little bit earlier, which is, Whenever you start losing traction, you have four wheels that can save you this time. Instead of if it's rear wheel drive or front wheel drive, you only have the two. Subaru actually has a very, very ingenious software where it senses whenever you lose traction in some of the wheels and it diverts power to other wheels. I uh, have a 2019 WRX, which is it's kind of a fast car. And uh, whenever I first bought it, I immediately tried to break it by seeing if I could drift. The answer was yes, but the car quickly stopped me. <laughs> it cut all the power to the rear and straightened me back out before I even knew what happened. And I'm equally grateful and disappointed. But last but not least is the outdoors. So they have the National Park Foundation that we talked a little bit about. That is definitely one bit of it. The all-wheel drive also allows you to go outdoors. But the coolest thing is most recently they decided to lean into that a little bit. You know, you got the Ford Broncos, you got the Jeep Wranglers going on. So they decided we're going to lift up the Subaru. They lifted it for about four to six inches. And then we're going to put some beefy, real nice, outdoor all-terrain tires on this straight from the factory it's called the wilderness trim they've actually been expanding it from 2022 they expanded it to uh, i think three different models have it now unfortunately not the wrx which i wish but leave that there <laughs> but uh i'm sure that one's going to come soon and the nice thing is that you can take your dogs you can go out anywhere you want in nature and you can experience the same love that's founded in this country. And overall, that's why love makes a Subaru a Subaru.